The starting five presented by K. Jewelers. Sears and Quinterly in the back. Clowney is another freshman as Brown picks this off. And Charles Pediaco and Kobe Brown starts the game off with a dunk. Hard to guard and he will guard you hard. Just baits that lazy habit pass in that horns action. Bolston driving on Miller went up with him and that's going to count. On a quick reversal pass, that's a physical driver, is DeAndre Golston. They will keep shooting threes. Into the corner, Quinley Alley Oop, and that worked beautifully to Betty Ocko. Ryland Griffin didn't miss a three point shot. He did not. You saw that too. You called it to my attention. Yeah, Bradley knocks that in. We can't turn the ball over. This ain't yesterday. Dig in, man. And then he looked right at Brandon Miller and said, hey, man, you got to get out and guard somebody. Alabama came off of a corner three shooter. Missouri just cannot get one to drop right now. Well, well, neither team. Not doing much better. <laughs> Nick Honor will try. That goes down. Give me a ball screen and get me a shot. And he delivered. Dennis told us two days ago, I need Nick Honor taking more threes. Five laps, look up. Alley up by Miller set a screen and two Missouri players ran right into each other, which freed up the alley -oop. Missouri gets clipped by their own guy because of the face guarding action on Brandon Miller. That's an easy turn the corner. They embrace hard. Missouri does. <laughs> they're making it hard. They, they're making it hard and they are embracing it. Pretty play there by Sears. He goes with his right hand. Boy, what a job of tightrope walking by two Missouri players. Dolston steps into a high arcing three. That finds the bottom. Great pass. Carter with a flush. Just an empty side ball screen. Burnett lost it. How about that pass? Hodge with the flush. Brandon Miller. Not on the floor. Your offense now has to come from those guards just like that. And I love the fight back by Quinterly. And not let Brown shake loose for a three. Now they go long to Hodge. He fires. Oh, my gosh. What a shot by DeMoy Hodge. And he wins the pass. Alabama switches out, but the catch by Hodge. Oh, he got that off with no, oh, no, no question on that. No problem. The question is how much is going to be on the game clock. That is unbelievable by DeMoy Hodge, who is the most prolific three-point shooter for Missouri this year with over 80 three-point field goals. Uh, were they checking to see if it was a three or a two? Because the, 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 the clock shouldn't have come into play. I mean, yeah, and the, that, they're checking to see if he went out of bounds or not is what it was. And Carter in the paint gets double teamed in there. He had Miller one on one and elected to kick it back out. Boy, he hits hard ones, doesn't he? I think fired up would be an understatement, Senator. He lit into those guys. He said, <laughs> nobody wants the damn basketball. Nobody wants to get over. Wow. It's all Missouri right now. Well, Miss Alabama has looked soft from the opening pass. Miller looked right at the official after that reach. Now he works on Carter, who's banging him, and he fouled him, and he's going to have a three-point play opportunity. Just refusing, as he should, to give the ball up. Pretty good hit up top, and then just goes to work, isolation. Really good body control. Ball tipped out, and Hodge. We almost figured that's a layup for him. It was an off-balance rush three. Miller, oh, what a pass to Betty Aco. How about that? Fantastic. Look at the eyes look off. Right there, bam! So well done, man. That's... Joe Lenardi told me if they win, they likely would go with 75 in the net ranking after the ball was knocked away from Miller. An easy flush for Hodge. Carter in the paint, double teamed, lost it. Miller's got it. And here he goes one on one with East. And an easy layup for Brandon Miller. Griffin finds Clowney and he will put it up and in. What I'm talking about right here. Is this is not a fast drive of the ball, but very patient, keeping that floor space. And always Alabama has a guy operating out of the dunker spot or opposite. 
Griffin goes baseline. Quinterly kicks it. Miller's three. Got it. Brown corner kick. Carter's high arcing. Three finds the bottom. And now Kobe Brown's going to have to play with three fouls as well, Jimmy, as we watch Carter's ball go through the net. Cutting him off to this point. So Diaro will launch. In and out. East in. How about Griffin? The freshman out of Dallas just lost it. Oh, There's wow. a block by Miller. Game is a freshman. But Brandon Miller comes over. And there's 10 on the clock. Good switch on Missouri on the go screen. Griffin, great pass, Bediaco, and the foul and the basket. Is what frees up Griffin to go downhill. And you get stuck on that ball. They are constantly searching and finding and serving. That's an automatic three on the other end waiting to happen for the most part in college basketball. There always does seem to be salt in the wound. Yes. There? The alley-oop. That one worked, though, and it's Clowney having a huge game offensively. Got to hurry to get it over, and Quinterly does. And he'll just go all the way to the basket and alley-oop to Bediaco. It's just a constant threat. Driving this ball, finding out of the dunker spot, Bediaco, who's very patient, Rabbi. He doesn't rush. What he did in the second half, playing with foul trouble, a very special 20 minutes out of Brandon Miller. Alabama and Nate Oates are on their way to playing for an SEC tournament final as Gurley throws that down much to the delight of Missouri in the NCAA tournament. Be prepared to run like any other. Alabama, a winner by 1172-61. Brandon Miller ends up carrying the load. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.